I would like to thank you for joining us for a demonstration of the Money Merge Account Program. In front of you, you can see the Money Merge Account Program Action Plan or Default page. And in the body, we can see the prompts or the reminders that lay out the individual's financial situation or picture throughout the next three months, as we can see here, representing August, September, and October. It welcomes our client, Ms. John and Rebecca Jones. And if I move into my accounts information, we can see that John and Rebecca Jones currently have a primary mortgage at 6% interest with a term of 360 months or 30 years with a balance of $200,000 and a monthly payment of $1,199.10. They also have a home equity line of credit listed here, an auto loan, and a credit card. If I move over to my Money Merge Account program and move to my cash flow scenario, I can see that John and Rebecca Jones are operating off of $5,000 of income, $959.98 of discretionary income, and I can see that they list their cell phone, variable expenses, and living expenses. The Money Merge Account program has the ability to give a visual representation to our clients of their good decisions and their bad decisions involving debt elimination. In this particular scenario, the software is telling John and Rebecca Jones that if they follow the prompts and the reminders in the body of the action plan using their current income and expense structure, they will pay off their primary mortgage, their line of credit, their credit card, and their home uh, auto loan in 9.42 years, and they will only pay $72,354.03 in total interest for all of those accounts combined. Now I just want to highlight that on that $200,000 mortgage at 6% interest, if John and Rebecca were trying to pay that down conventionally and made every single payment on time for 360 months, they would pay back $431,677 in total payments. In other words, they would pay back $231,677 in interest alone. And with the Money Merge Account program, with all of their debts included, it's telling them that they will only pay back $72,354.03. I would like to draw your attention to this item right here. This is called a funds transfer. This is the teeth of the Money Merge Account program. What the Money Merge Account program does is tells the client how much money to move, when to move it, and what account to take it out of and what debt to pay it towards to help them find some of the quickest mathematical solutions to zero debt. The Money Merge account does this by utilizing what we call facilitating accounts. Now facilitating accounts are typical accounts that are banking instruments that have been around for decades and some of those instruments would be a home equity line of credit, a personal line of credit, a business line of credit, and some checking and savings accounts. The software will always key on a facilitating account in order to pay down a specific debt that it has designated to increase uh, the savings to the client. So let's dive in real quick and just find out how easy it is to execute an operation. The software here is telling the client to move $5,649.76 from their facilitating account and make that payable to their primary mortgage. The client would highlight this line item. They would go in and click Execute Action. And then down here they could put in a notation if they wanted for later records in the memo section. If there was escrows involved or lender fees, they could accommodate those at this time. And they could go in and set up transaction types as well as categories. But for our purposes, let's just go forward and execute uh, this particular scenario and let's see what happens. If we execute this scenario, we can see that the line item is removed from the action plan. And the reason that that line item is removed from the action plan is no longer a action plan or plan of action, a prompt or a reminder. It is now something that the client has already performed. So they no longer need to be reminded of that. Let's go into a little scenario here. Let's say that we're talking about a, a client. Uh, we'll say this John, and John is a commission-based employee. And as a commission-based employee, we can see that John gets paid on the 1st, and John gets paid on the 15th in the amount of $1,300. Let's say on the pay date of August 1st, John does not have any commissions ready, and so therefore he does not receive a paycheck. Well, if John and Rebecca Jones were trying to do something like this on their own, they would have to go in and they would have to actually recalculate all of their information based on spreadsheets or whatever method they were using. With the Money Merge Account program, all they would have to do is go into the software, click the item, they would have to click Execute Action, 
And then we can look here, and for our purposes, we're going to say that John only gets a paycheck of $1, and I'm doing that specifically. I think we can agree putting $1 there would be the same as him not receiving a paycheck, but I wanted to highlight this item here. By putting $1 in there, we have this budgeting screen here, and it says he is now under budget by $1,299, and it's in red, and I just want everybody to be aware that red is bad. And so this right now is giving him a visual representation of the decision that he has made or the, uh, the situation that has occurred and showing him that, you know what, you're, you're off budget right now, but let's see what happens. So he's going to go ahead and execute this operation, and we're going to see 9.42 years is going to increase to 9.50 and $73,324 of future interest. See, the software has the ability to adjust in real time to what the client is doing. The biggest failure with most budgets for people is people have to follow a budget. The greatest asset of the Money Merge Account Program is the Money Merge Account Program follows the client. Let's go and look at another operation. Let's say Rebecca here. She's been working for the same retailer for 15 years. She walks into work one day and the boss says, we're going to give you a pay raise. And in that pay raise, Rebecca is told that uh, she's going to be moved from semi-monthly pay to buy weekly pay and she's going to receive a pay raise of $12.18. Let's see how the software accommodates this. We're going to go into cash flow and Rebecca all she would have to do is click on her line item, click edit income. She would go in and select semi-monthly and change it to buy weekly and immediately we see a box come up that says add extra income to discretionary. The extra income that we're speaking of here is two additional paychecks by being bi-weekly. On semi-monthly, Rebecca would receive 24 paychecks. On bi-weekly, she would now receive 26. Since she's been living on a 24 paycheck budget per year, let's go ahead and click yes, we're going to go ahead and use this. And we're going to give her a pay raise of $15.18. And let's see what the software says now. We're going to go in here to our calendar, select the first Friday of the month because she's going to get paid every other Friday, and we're going to save this information. And we can see that 9.50 years is now reduced to 8.50 and $64,828.09 in interest remaining. How many of you out there would have thought that a small increased income like that would have produced such phenomenal results? I want to thank you very much for taking the time for joining us for this brief demonstration. If you have further questions or need more knowledge, please get with your agent and they can go through a more detailed demonstration. The Money Merge Account Program is making finance point and click, easy and simple to use for the average consumer. Thank you very much.